My PhD supervisors, Viv Kendon and Sarah Harris. My A-level biology teacher, Mrs Bradley. Uh, Elena Cattaneo, she's a professor at my university. My female role model from back when I was a kid is Maggie Philbin. Professor Caroline D. Um, from here on the Norwich Research Park. Professor Gila Cocker, who mentored me during my very first rotation and PhD. At the University of Bielefeld, uh, my former boss back then, uh, Elisabeth Akika. I have two uh, female role models for me. I met one of them during my master's degree. She just always pushed really hard genetics problems in particular, and that was why I absolutely fell in love with genetics back then. Uh, she's a formidable force, so to speak, leading the way in uh, plant molecular biology, so she's inspired me to have a career in biology. And she's now in the Italian government. Like for life, she was the youngest woman to be given that honour. So the thing I really liked about Maggie was that she just did everything anybody else would do as a presenter. She'd fly in jet planes or talk about medical stuff. Um, and it didn't matter that she was a woman. I didn't think about the fact she was a woman. And at the time she was eight months pregnant, but organised and energetic as ever. Went into labour in the middle of my rotation, but I was fine completely. I knew what I was doing at the time and I felt, you know, if she could do it that way, you know, there's no problem for women in science. She was a mother for four children. She spent her life mostly taking care of her children. Then at age 50 she decided to go and do PhD and it was amazing to see the energy and the inspiration of this woman at the not very young age doing so much for science. Uh, leading a research group in neuronal systems and engineering uh, was kind of like yeah an inspiring role to me because she yeah kind of like resembled this um, yeah really ambitious and career oriented person. Um, I think we shouldn't have a, there shouldn't be need for a celebration of women in science. I think it's great to have a day where we're reminded of um, problem solving abilities that aren't just to do with uh, something that's inherently thought of as a male um, uh, trait. Very inspiring to know that basically the woman was the, one of the first uh, programmers and one of the first developing of the program language. But the point that we need to celebrate a special day for women is kind of disappointing because it means that we are not there yet. That it can inspire people who are maybe having a difficult time to uh, work on what they enjoy regardless and show that women, they don't just contribute, like they, they can be the best. Like.